هست مهمان خانه این تن ای جوان هر سباهی زیف نو آید دوان این مگو که این ماند اندر گردنم که همکنون باز پرد در عدم هرچه آید از جهان غیب وش در دلت زیف است او را دار خش هر دمی فکری چو مهمان عزیز آید در سینعت هر روز نیست فکر را ای جان به جای شخص دان زان که شخص از فکر دارد قدر جان فکر غم گر راه شادی میزند کارسازی های شادی می کند خانه می رو بد به تندی اوز غیر تا در آید شادی نو زسل خیر می فشاند برگ زرد از شاخ دل تا بروید برگ سبز متصل می کند بیخ سرور کهنه را تا خرامد زوغ نو از ماورا قم کند بیخ کج پوسیده را تا نماید بیخ رو پوشیده را قمز دل هرچه بریزد یا برد در عوض حقا که بهتر آورد خاصان را که یقینش باشدین که بود قم بنده اهل یقین گر ترش روی نیارد ابر و برق رز بسوزد از های شهر سعد و نحس اندر دلت مهمان شود چون ستاره خانه خانه می رود آن زمان که او مقیم برج توست باش همچون تالعش شیرین و چوست تا که با مه چون شود او متصل شکر گوید از تو با سلطان دل فکر در سینه در آید نو به نو خند خندان پیش او تو باز رو که اعزنی خالقی من شرهی لا تو حرمنی انل من برهی رب اوزعنی لشکر ما ارا لا تعقب حسرتا لی انمزا آن زمیر رو ترش را پاس دار آن ترش را چون شکر شیرین شمار عبر را گر هست ظاهر رو ترش گل شراننده است عبر و شور کش فکر غم را تو مثال عبر دان با ترش تو رو ترش هم کن چنان بو که آن گوهر به دست او بود جهد کن تا از تو او راضی رود ور نباشد گوهر و نبود قنی عادت شیرین خود افسون کنی جای دیگر سود دارد عادتت ناگهان روزی براید حاجتت فکرتی که از شادیت مانع شود آن به امر و حکمت سانع شود تو مخان دو چار دانگش ای جوان بوک نجمی باشد و صاحب بران تو مگو فرعیست او را اصل گیر تا بوی پیوسته بر مقصود چیر ور تو آن را فرگیری و مزر چشم تو در اصل باشد منتظر زهر آمد انتظار اندر چشش دائما در مرگ باشی زان روش 
اصل دان آن را بگیرش در کنار باز ره دائم ز مرگ انتظار Oh youth, this body is like a guest house. Every morning a new guest arrives, rushing through the door. Be aware, don't say, oh, here comes another burden for me, for it will immediately vanish to nothingness. Whatever passes through your heart from the invisible world is just a guest, so entertain and welcome it. Every day and at every moment, another thought, like an honored guest, enters your heart. Regard each thought as a person, my dear friend. For every person's value is based on the thought they hold. If a sorrowful thought stands in the way of your worldly joy, know that it is preparing the way for real joy. It swiftly sweeps your house clean of else, so that some new joy may arise from the source. It shakes off the withered leaves from the branches of the heart so that fresh evergreen leaves may grow. It uproots the old worldly joy so that a new spiritual joy may enter from beyond. Sorrow unearth the old and rotten roots in order to reveal the invisible roots that were once veiled from sight. Whatever sorrow shakes off and takes away from the heart, verily it brings something better in its place. Especially for those who are intuitive and certain in faith, knowing that sorrow is in fact their servant. Without the frown of the dark clouds and lightning, the vines would burn by the smiling rays of the sun. Fortune and bad luck both become guests in the zodiac of your heart like planets and stars traveling from one astrological sign to another. When the auspicious or inauspicious star aligns with your astrological sign within your heart, be receptive and agreeable with that ruling sign, so that when it rejoins with the moon, it will speak kindly of your hospitality to the Lord of the hearts. So when new thoughts enter your heart time and time again, encounter each with smiles and laughter, saying, O oh my Lord, protect me from its harm and do not deprive me of its good. Lord, remind me to be thankful for that which I receive. Let me feel no regret if its benefit passes away. Pay watchful regard to the sour-looking thought. Deem it to be sweet as sugar. If the cloud has a seemingly sour face, remember that it delivers the rose garden and transforms the barren soil. Know that the thought of sorrow is like that cloud. Do not look so sourly on the sour. 
It may be that it carries with it the pearl of wisdom. Work hard so it may depart from you well pleased. And even if that sorrow carries no pearl in hand, remain pleased. This will increase your sweet practice. Your practice will benefit you at another time. Someday, your prayer will be suddenly fulfilled. Know that those thoughts that hinder you from joy arrive by the command and wise purpose of the beloved. O oh, youth, do not deem it worthless, for it may be a happy star and endowed with imperial fortune. Do not see it as a mere part, as the branch. Take it to be the source, as the root, so that you may always be the master of your object of desire. When you take it to be merely a branch, a derivative and harmful, you will be continuously waiting for the source. Always waiting to see the source is poisonous to your spiritual perception. By such a method, you will remain stuck perpetually in death. Recognize it as the source. Embrace it tightly and be forever delivered from the demise of waiting to see.